I have leveled up a bit. Instead of a single 7 segment display, I can now control a dual 7 segment display on my Cora Z7 board. This board features an Xilinx Sync 7000 pro um, chip, which combines an ARM processor and an FPGA region. I use the FPGA region to do the decoding of the 7 segment display. I also changed my build system to Peta Linux, Xilinx Yocto based solution for building a Linux image. And let me show you how this thing is booting by pressing the reset button here. And you can see while I'm pressing the reset button, the 7 segment display is empty because the FPGA region is also under reset. Okay, so now the board starts up and the first thing which will happen is the first stage bootloader FSBL from Xilinx is loaded. This also does the FPGA programming, that's why the 7 segment display is on now. And then U-boot is started and from U-boot I can boot my Linux image. So let's boot Linux. Attached to the kernel I have a root file system which will be placed into the DRAM of this board. And now the root file system is started and some services like a DHCP client or Dropbeer as an SSH server will be started. And this will take some time because some keys need to be generated and therefore the kernel randomness needs to be initialized. But sooner or later we should drop into a login shell and there you can see I have used Petalinux 2022.2 to build this image. So I can log in with the user Petalinux and I need to give it a password and now I'm logged in. And you can see here I'm running Linux kernel 5.15 and together with Petalinux I have also built a driver to control my 7 segment display here. So let's load this driver, therefore let me change to root user and let's load the driver dual 7 sec. So the driver is loaded now and on my SD card I have a device tree overlay to yeah, add a device. And I can use Xilinx FPGA util with the minus O option to load an overlay which is on my SD card in this case. And I've named it my overlay.dtpo and you can see a new device was probed at this address here. And in my device folder I have now a file called dev760. And if I write something to this file, hey, my 7 segment display can be controlled over it. Cool. Yeah, so have you ever tried Yocto Linux or, or building a Linux image with Yocto or Petal Linux? Please let me know in the comments down below. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.